chances are you probably suck at IG Allen. And while you probably don't even know why, well I know why, let me tell you. Number one, the volume and emotion in your comms to your teammate is super random and all over the place and you probably don't even know that's a problem. Huh? This does sound random at first but hear me out. In the perfect world, all your comms with your teammate should be super monotone and relaxed and laid back until the point where there's something important that your teammate needs to know as soon as possible and needs to react to as quick as possible and that is when you yell and be loud. It should be something super rare. Like for example, back in the day when I used to grind for that competitive, I remember the moments where maybe my team's on height or we're like about to win a game or we're popping off in like some important tournament or something and we're just yelling everything because it's super hyped. Like our comms would just be like, dead, got him, okay, we're going to the front now, okay, give me the mats. Like you're just yelling everything because you're so hyped. And then say I'm on high ground with my teammate about to win the game and we're yelling like before every single comm and then someone's like building up behind my teammate on height about to take it and then I yell that comm because we want him to like react quickly and like you're not going to be quiet for some reason. And then what happens? Your teammate might react to it obviously, but they're not going to be super quick to it and sometimes they might even just miss the comm because it just gets drowned out and everything else because all your other comms are the same enthusiasm. Like when you yell, there's someone coming up on high behind you. Your teammate should be like, wait, he's yelling? What the? What's happening? Okay, number two. You don't feel like the boss of the team, you kind of just feel like a pair of friends. Actually being the boss of your team and your teammates know you're the boss and you know you're the boss of the team is actually super beneficial for you and your team's success. Not just because it's going to grow your massive ego, but just because it's actually going to make it super easy for communications because everyone knows who to listen to. You're not just going to be like juggling and arguing between each other ideas and rotates of what to do, which is especially bad amongst some like stressful environment. Because a lot of the time, it's actually better to do the a little bit worse like decision and rotate with no hesitation at all, just instantly, than actually to do the little bit better idea but with a little bit of hesitation and you might think it's just kind of luck that you're just with a teammate that doesn't really listen to you but it is your fault how come you haven't been super strict with your teammates since the very start being super assertive and not going back on your ideas etc because that will build up trust over time to just make your teammate respect you as a person and he'll just listen to you anyways number three you don't take the blame for all of your team's failure Okay, yes, you should be pointing out little things that your teammate does wrong, but if your team fails in a tournament, it is your fault. Say you're like in a really stressful endgame environment, right? You're tapping and then your teammate is looking for kills and he edits someone down like a whole duo into your box trying to get kills because he's impatient and that ends up killing you both. Obviously, you could so easily just be like, that's your fault, what are you doing? That's so stupid of you. Bruh. Well, think about this for me. What if you stopped and instead of instantly blaming your teammate for that, even though it seems ridiculous that you don't blame him for that, what about you think, wait, how could this be my fault? How could have I prevented that from happening? Why didn't you tell him before? Maybe we don't need a refresh, just stay with me, we'll get front side and then if we're together and ready for a kill, then we'll edit people down. Don't do this without me because we don't need to take that risk right now. And then it wouldn't have happened in the first place. Because first of all, your teammate already knows it's a dumb decision. He doesn't need to think about it that much. You might be able to mention it like a little bit and just leave it at that. But adopting the mindset that I was talking about actually just makes you and your teammate just think and improve at like a way deeper level than usual. Number four, you don't compliment much. I find a lot of IGLs hardly ever say anything to the teammates like once they do something good until they do something bad and then they make a comment and then overall the only comments they make are negative and then that just grows a hatred and disrespect towards you which you do not want because any disrespect towards you means they're not going to listen to you as much. Of course, don't never ever say something bad towards your teammate because then you're just going to grow a weird relationship with them that when you do say something bad like you shouldn't be doing that you should be doing this then they're going to get really offended just always hype your teammate up when they do something you want them to do but when they do something you don't want them to do just tell them but don't be so emotional about it as the igl you should be treating like your teammates and your fraggers almost like they're feral dogs <laughs> And you're trying to like train them into respecting your decisions and stuff and like hyping them up when they do something good like they do a good trick and they do it properly like a dog <laughs> and then also making sure they know when they do something wrong number five you show emotion as an igl yes you're going to feel terrible sometimes when you and your team do bad in a tournament or a game but you are the leader of the team like you are the most influential people on your teammates if you get emotional your team are going to follow your lead and be emotional too which is obviously bad we know that 
So get a grip, take a deep breath, and just put a smile on it and think, okay, it is what it is, and then tell your teammates, we can still do good. And even though that just feels so wrong to say, because you do not feel like that at all, that is going to be the best thing you can do for your team. Because yes, a lot of the time, even after you put on like this act of being like calm and being like, yo, so godless and like a positive attitude, they might like kind of know you're faking it and they might just continue like kind of being upset and like not that positive. But think about it. This is still way better than what they would have been like if you were emotional too.